What you guys got another video here for you on how to make Windows 11 completely private and stop Microsoft or Windows 11 from spying on you. Is that a thing? Can we actually turn off a lot of the telemetry to stop Microsoft from collecting data and viewing what we're doing on our PC? I'm going to show you where you can view this information and how you can go about turning this stuff off and whether you should actually turn it off and worry about it. Uh, because there's a lot of people that actually tinker with their operating systems and end up breaking it and then they end up having to do a fresh install to rectify it because they can't remember what they did or they've run some script somewhere. So let's talk about all that in this video. Okay, so we've got three options available for making changes to our computer for our privacy settings. So we've got the manual way of doing things, which is the safest way. We've got scripts we can use and we've also got programs. Let's go through some of the pros and cons for these. So Going into the manual way of doing things, this is a little bit time consuming, but once you get this done, it's done and you can just revert back very easily. So for instance, if we went into our privacy and security and we made changes in here, we can always revert back by just making a little toggle switch like this. It's simple. I just wish that Microsoft let you opt out completely here and say, I don't want any of this stuff and just opt out of the whole lot in one fell swoop. There's going to be people that are going to want to do that rather than go through and make changes to every single setting. Now, location services are basically where you're located and where you live. It's very, very accurate, and it will send back all of this information to Microsoft. And some people don't like that. They don't want to be uh, sort of tracked on the Internet. Uh, they think it's going to be completely private by having this off because Microsoft will still know where you are. It's just the fact that you've opted out of it. The problem with turning this off is it also affects other things like weather apps, things like that, where it will give you uh, weather for your local area or news feeds where it wants to give you local news feeds uh, sent to you. And you won't get any of that by having this off. So if you're trying to use anything that's built into Windows 11 that needs this on, then you're not going to be able to use that service. Also, using local uh, an account will affect you on Windows 11. You won't be able to use certain things like the Microsoft Store or certain apps in here, it will restrict you because you're not connected to Microsoft. And there's other things as well, which I'm not going to cover in this video. But basically, there is quite a lot of things you have to go through and make changes to. Inside here, like inking and typing and personalization, people just want to toggle this off um, and make changes to this. But I don't want to go through and do this manually. And there is scripts and apps that can do this for you. But if you want a bit more safety, then do it manually. If you're new uh, to computers and things like that, then maybe do it manually and turn these off manually because otherwise once you use a script, it can uh, destroy the computer's operating system and you would have to reinstall it to revert back. I've seen this happen quite a lot, especially some scripts online. They're not very well made and they are quite destructive. So be careful with what scripts you use. Okay, so let's talk about the Microsoft uh, Privacy Dashboard. And what is it and what does it do? Well, basically, this is the information that is being collected on your computer. So, for instance, if you have a Microsoft account and you are signed in and you're also connected on your PC and not using a local account, then all this information can be viewed by you. You can see what information is there and what basically information is being collected by Microsoft. Now, I'm using a local account, but if you are connected, all this information will pinpoint exactly where your location is and where you live. And you'll be able to see right to the uh, GPS location where you are. And you can zoom in and it will tell you exactly where you are. As you can see, it doesn't know where I am uh, according to this site. And that's because there's no data available because I'm using a local account. And I've also got the location uh, service turned off. If you have this turned on. This is going to tell them exactly where you're located. Also, let's take a look at the speech area here. As you can see, there is some information you can read here, and it would also give you the browsing history. This will be collected also. Uh, this is also turned off here, uh, but you will have all this information uh, collected. As you can see, no data is available for this here. OK, so let's take a look at the search history. Now, search history is all of your browsing history and what you're typing in your browser. It's getting sent back to Microsoft. 
if you have a Microsoft account and if you have a Microsoft account that you're logged into on your computer, this is the information that's getting sent back there. You can download all of your data or clear all your search history, but basically everything you search for is being collected and sent back. And this is what it does. And this is how they can basically send ads in your direction because they know what you're searching for and they've got your search patterns right here. You can clear it all by clearing all your search history here. Uh, so I'm going to clear it. And once it's clean, you can see here, no data is available. Now it will tell you if you don't want this being collected, there is a feature you can turn off inside your browser, which we'll talk about in another video. But basically that is your search history here. So let's take a look at apps and services uh, activity here. And you can see there's not a lot of information here for me. And also the media activity will be collected here. No data available. And that's because I've turned a lot of this stuff off in my computer. Moving on down to app services and performance data. And you can see here, you can clean this as well if you wanted to. Coming down here, you'll see uh, ad settings. This is for your ad settings. So if you click on this, it will give you some ad settings and interests. So you can see all of the ad settings here. So travel and uh, there's a bunch of other stuff here. And when you click on this area here, it'll give them your interest you can see here. Now, these are none of my uh, interests here, but because I have all this feature turned off, so it's just sort of guesstimating what I would like. But if you had logged into your account and you're logged into your computer, you will have things in here that are of interest of you. It could be shopping, it could be buying clothes and things like that. That will all be listed on here. And you'll have a bunch of lists of stuff that's listed here. So let's talk about the other way of doing things, which is scripts. And scripts, there is tons of different scripts online which you can choose from. No script is the same. They're all different and you don't know who's creating them. And you have to be very, very careful on what scripts to use. Now, you obviously have to understand how to read scripts and what's in them and what it's going to be removing and things like that. If you don't understand any of that stuff, then don't run them on your PC because what's going to happen is it's going to remove some stuff that you might want and then you can't reverse it. Some scripts allow you to uh, reverse things and restore things and some don't. So you just have to be a bit mindful about what you're doing when you're running scripts. Now, I showed you this the other day. This is an awesome little script here. If you know what you're doing, this has made it very simple on how to run a script. There is other ones online as well. This is just another one that I found. And there's a bunch of other ones here. There's not much information on this one here. So you'd have to obviously go into the script itself and have a look at it and see what actually the code is going to be doing on your computer. And if you don't understand anything about this, then don't run them on your PC because you have no clue of what it's actually doing. And I see tons of people asking for help on how to fix things. And it's normally because they've run something like this and it's ripped out uh, components and all sorts of stuff from the computer and they don't know what to do to get it back. So be very careful here because you can see it's going to be making uh, changes to your system, your operating system, adding in registry keys uh, into the host file. It's going to be doing a bunch of stuff like that. So be very, very careful what you're using here. So let's take a look at the script itself so you get an idea. This one is a really useful and uh, user-friendly type of script where you can run this on your system and basically you'll have something looking like this on this script. Not all are the same as I've said here before. You can look at this here and open it up and it gives you a little uh, tree here where we can open this up and take ticks out of the stuff that we don't want it to remove. So if you want it to remove all of your privacy and things like that, you can leave the ticks in these. And obviously going down to apps, you can have a good look here. And we've got some other things like gaming and it makes some changes here, some system uh, changes here and your personalization here as well. You've also got other areas which you can take a look at on this uh, script. For instance, there's apps here. You can add the apps and if you want to remove all of the default apps, you can add all. If you want to keep some, you can do by just saying, for instance, I might want to keep, let's have a look here. Uh, I might want to keep that gaming app so I can restore the selected one and it will keep that one. If you want to remove them all, you can. If you want to remove only a certain few, you can do. So let's add them all in there. 
Now, be mindful about what you're removing here. It's going to remove Microsoft Teams. It's going to remove a lot of the Xbox stuff. You might want to keep the Xbox stuff. If you like this Xbox, uh, you want to keep it. So if you want to restore some stuff and you don't want to say remove this Xbox stuff, you can do by just hitting this and restore selected. And it will put these in here and it won't remove these. It's only going to remove all this stuff. If you don't care and you want to remove it all, it's going to remove everything that you've got in that list. Okay. So, and this is the area here, empty the recycle bin. You can say yes, and that's going to now all be gone. And it's going to start to uninstall all of those apps there. Now you can reinstall some of these, um, but just be mindful about what you're removing. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the other areas. So we've got uh, some other bits here, packages, and we've also got our automate tasks here. So. Let's go and take a look at the system here. So let's just go through here quickly. So if you wanted to do this fix issues, you can check here and we've got fix issues and it's going to go ahead and uninstall all of this stuff for us quickly, as you can see here. Like I said, if you want to keep some of this, take the ticks out, but I'm just showing you in this video, this is not a, a video on how to use this software. I've done the video on that before. You can check out my playlist. Okay, so let's look at the third option here which is using applications to uh, change your privacy settings and disable telemetry now there is a program called uh, shut up 10 plus plus now it's called uh, because it's catering for windows 11 but this is a portable application which is going to take care of all your security settings your privacy settings your location settings and stuff like that so if you're one of these paranoid peeps that want to uh, disable a lot of this stuff then you can use programs as well as whatever you else you want to use. Cause I've seen people using registry tweaks, running scripts and also using stuff like this and they completely jack their system up and it doesn't work properly. Now these are reversible. You can use this tool to make changes to your system and turn off a lot of this stuff, create a restore point here. And you can also see uh, we have got apply only recommended settings here. And we also have, other ones like uh, more aggressive ones, which will turn off other types of telemetry as well. It's going to create a restore point, and this is going to allow us to roll back at a later date if we wanted to use something like this. So bear that in mind when you're using tools like this. Always use the create restore point as well, so you can always roll back. Uh, this is uh, using the other uh, version here, which is going to be uh, recommended and somewhat recommended. So these are limited here as well. And uh, yeah, you just have to apply all these settings here and it's going to do that for us. There we go. So that is basically how uh, you can use either manual settings or scripts, or you can use programs like these to make changes to your system uh, to stop uh, telemetry being collected and being sent to Microsoft. Now, are these uh, ways of doing things going to make you 100% completely private on the internet? No. This is the problem that people seem to forget. They think that by doing all of this, Microsoft are not going to be able to still collect data or they're not going to be able to do certain things to their computer. Of course they can. It's their operating system. They can do whatever they like. Okay, so let's take a look at the pros and cons of using the manual method compared to using scripts and programs like these. I'm just going to quickly show you exactly what I see when people come and ask for help. They will come into their uh, settings here and they will start seeing things like this location area here and it's completely been disabled as you can see here. And by now they've deleted the script and they've deleted the program off their computer and they can't get this back and they don't know what to do. And this is exactly what you're going to get. Sometimes you'll get some writing up here saying this is being controlled by your organization or something along them lines. And uh, you can't make changes to it because it's been completely disabled. And this is the thing you have to understand when you're using things like this. Uh, these are going to be changed so you can't tamper with them and that it will stop it coming back on. So if you don't want such an aggressive approach, then by all means, don't use these methods because they are irreversible unless you know what you've done and you want to be able to reverse it. Now you can reverse it with programs like this. 
uh, you can reverse what you've done. But if you're running scripts, some of them don't allow you to reverse what you've changed. So you have to bear that in mind. Some scripts do, some scripts don't. Some programs will allow you to reverse it back as well by toggling these back on. But if you delete these, you're not going to know exactly what you did. And again, you're going to be find that hard uh, to recover. OK, so does this make your computer completely private? Probably not, uh, but it's probably going to end up breaking something that you might want to reverse later on. So just bear that in mind if you're running any of these sort of methods uh, other than the manual method, which is completely reversible. Anyway, I hope this information has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.